hey guys welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is ash and if you're not hey girl so um i'm about to go get my hair done it's new year's eve and new beginnings y'all so i'm just a little excited about the new year but i'm not really doing nothing today um my best friend is having something at her house um i might go over there with my other best friend um so yeah, that might be my day. I honestly just want to lay down on the bed and watch the ball drop with my snacks. That sound like a plan. But um, this year, I want to get out the house more. Not necessarily party, but do a little bit more outside of the house. So um, I might do that. So yeah, we're about to get this here done. And yeah, so... I will talk to you guys once I'm done getting my hair done. Good morning, guys. Hey, guys, good morning. Um, welcome back. My name is Ashley. If you're new here, if you're not, hey, girl. Um, I am in the hospital. Very long story, I will tell you guys, but right now, um, I'm in pain. So, just wanted to come up on here and say Happy New Year. I spent the night inside the ER. Yeah. So, I wanted to say, starting this year, it's either day one or one day. That's the title of this video because we're not going to keep saying one day. We're starting now. So, yeah. Even in pain, even going through what I'm going through. And I will talk about my testimony and how I'm going to get through this and help other people who are going through this as well. So... I will check back in with you guys a little later. I think I'm leaving today. So, once I get myself together, I will talk to y'all. But, I want to say again, Happy New Year. Hope your New Year um, Eve was good. You spent it with your family and friends. And everybody was safe and enjoyed their self. So, I will talk to you guys later. Yeah, I posted my Instagram. Yeah. They went to, um, what you call them, last night. Um, So that's her boyfriend. And I was like, that's the jacket mm -hmm. that she wanted. She got it from Zara. She mm -hmm. bought it from. Um, so she sent me the the thing. I was just going to go and. I got the black one though, remember? Just the tag. So I was going to look it up and see if I could find it. But I got the black one though, remember? You wanted the tan one. Hey. 
Yeah, I can hear you. I'm in the hospital. Well, when I tried to call you back last night, Travis, you didn't answer. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. She said I don't have no discharge papers or nothing. So. Probably like three. I mean, right now, yeah. I had to get surgery. Well, I'll text you and then whenever you get a break, you can just call me or whatever. Okay. Look, this is the room. It got two um, bedrooms. One got two beds and like then the one room. got a king bed. And then I was like, everybody else can just sleep on the mm -hmm. couches and stuff. So that's the room that I think I want reserved for next year. Mm -hmm. We can do that. This was the other one. If I had to choose between, but I like the other one better. If I had to choose between. Came to see me. Yes. In the spittle. Well, at least your lashes look good. Period. Period. Lashes on fleek. Done by Real Lashy or whatever. I'm a link her page. Go follow her. I don't know. Right you told them why you went this half of the bit on me. No, I said I'm, I'm gonna let them know. Get this shark paper there. They said they didn't get nothing from the doctor. My for mom real? just asked me. Uh huh. What'd she say? Why Cause she wanna know. She like, did you hear anything? Cause I We're just beginning. Oh, hey guys, so I got discharged. I got discharged from the hospital. I'm not supposed to be driving, but. I told my cousin, don't follow me. Like, she lived the total opposite way. Um, I said, I can't make it. I'm only going 20 minutes from the hospital I was at. I'm going to my aunt's house, so I don't be in the house by myself. So, um, I'm in pain, but we're going to push through because us women are so strong. I'm definitely going to tell you guys in the next vlog, I'm going to break it down. Everything that been going on with me and why I ended up in the hospital because... I'm sure it can help somebody. Um, it's very devastating because um, what I'm going through is life changing. Um, sad, I've been crying all day yesterday. I just can't wrap my head around like this. At 31 years old, like my life changed. But neither here nor there, we're alive and that's all that really matters right now. Um, I can work through the other parts later. So, I just wanted to say Happy New Year's again. My new year didn't begin the way I wanted to, but that does not mean that it's going to be a bad year for me or it's going to end bad. Um, new beginnings. And I feel like the devil has been attacking me. The last couple of days, I have been reading the Bible more and talking to God and praying. I haven't done that in a while. So, it's a coincidence that once I started doing that, this happened so I believe everything happens for a reason and the devil was testing me but I will never lose my faith in God um, always going to come first so um, I just wanted to talk to you guys and let you know I'm okay I'm on my way to my aunt's house so I don't be home alone my daughter is not home so it'll just be me and if something happens I want to be around people that can help me so I'm going to stay the night at my aunt's I was supposed to start a contract tomorrow um, a nursing contract, but I called them and told them, like, listen, I had to get emergency surgery. I'm not going to be able to make it. I'm in pain. So she understood things happen. But I um, just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because my vlog was not supposed to be like this. Like, really, I planned on having a crazy day um, with my daughter and us starting off the new year beautifully with my vlogs but 
maybe this was what needed to happen so this one really just going to be showing you me being in the hospital today and um last night i came so the next one definitely will be about all that's been going on and ways that i can help somebody else um some things are you can't prevent it but you also can try to it doesn't hurt and i feel like because i did it so many times um that i have remedies that help me but we'll get into that in the next video because i know you're like what are you talking about i just don't want to start talking about it because it's so long of a topic that i'd rather just have a whole video for it so i just wanted to come on here and say that i'm okay i'm still in pain i should not be driving but i felt like i was okay enough to drive because i didn't want my cousin to have to follow me and she lived on the whole opposite side of the world like i just felt like that was unnecessary um so i'm going to get to where i'm going and i'll talk to you later hey guys good morning and today is like i don't know two days later since i last talked to you guys um yeah it's been it's been a new year's already but we're staying positive so um right now i'm on my way to my contract that was supposed to start yesterday but i couldn't because i had got the surgery which i'm going to explain in a whole nother video because i think i'm going to sue the hospital that i went to first but um i just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys a little bit because um right before okay focus Right before I um, went to the hospital um, on New Year's Eve, I have been praying and um, like reading the Bible. It's not focusing. Let me try to sit it down. Hold up. So I have been um, praying and reading the Bible. And just so happens, once I start doing that, it feels like I'm being attacked by the devil. Which is mind-blowing. Because, like, before that, I was fine. Nothing going on. And then soon as I start changing it up, and, like, I'm going to really do better this time with getting closer to God, that's when it started. So, I ended up in the hospital. And I had to get emergency surgery. And now I'm living with a life-changing event because of that. So, yeah. But it's a long story because it don't just stem from yesterday. or I mean, from New Year's Day. So, I'm going to do a whole video on it because I feel like it's other women out here who've been through this and are going through it. And probably feel like they're alone. So I don't want anyone to feel like they're alone. Um, I want to explain what I feel like can help in the situation. So this is just to update you guys that I'm okay um, out the hospital. I am in a lot of pain. I have been taking um, medicine. Um, I'm not supposed to be driving. I'm not supposed to be going to work. But what can you do when you have a kid that you got to take care of? And also, I'm in the middle of trying to move like in this month so i'm only here for today so it's not that bad so we're gonna get through this day and then i'm gonna go home and lay down and yeah so um i just wanted to update you guys on that so this will be the end of this vlog because i really do want to talk about the situation so um the next vlog probably i will probably do it tomorrow when i can sit down and i'll be at home and I can talk about everything so that is next so I will talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm going to try to hurry up and get there because I'm going to be late